We'll get right to it, Coach. Uh, initial thoughts on tonight's game? Uh, we played against a very good basketball team, a uh, team that's been battle tested. Um, they've got championship in their DNA as a team. Um, defensively, I thought they just did an outstanding job defending our sets. Uh, they took us out of our sets. The mark of a good team, especially defensively, is not to allow your opponent from running the things that they used to running in practice, and they were able to accomplish that. Um, I'm real proud of my team. Um, to, right now, it's very disappointing. But um, overall, uh, I can't ask much more from the way these guys have handled themselves all year. Let's go ahead and open up for questions. The microphone's right here. So, Brandon, go ahead. Brandon Williams, Southland.org. Coach, you just talked about how they were able to keep you from doing the things that you want to do. What were some of the adjustments that you were trying to make over the course of the contest to try to get your offensive rhythm? Well, when teams uh, get in passing lanes and try to deny you from catching, um, I just I believe you can't go east west. You got to go north south. Um, we try to run some backdoor action against it, uh, thinking that if we could get some some layups or dunks out of that early in the game, it would maybe get them to back off a little bit. But they had that part covered with their help side defense, uh, outstanding ball pressure on their on their part. Um, we wanted really to go inside and drive. We felt like one, if we could gap it, uh, we could put some pressure on them. Um, but we didn't finish at the rim when we did drive it. Um, tonight was a tough night, but it was a good learning experience for us. Hopefully, that'll help us grow. Um, and the future looks bright with these guys right here at the table with me. Coach. Uh Colton didn't take a shot in the first half. Uh, did, were you expecting them to really key in as, on him as hard as they did? Yeah. Uh, Colton has made a name for himself this year. Uh, he attracts a crowd, uh, two and three guys. Uh, at all times are around him. Uh, around him. Um, sometimes they front one, have one guy front and one guy coming from behind. And the rest of the team digging um, with so much pressure. Uh, we, even when we kicked out, we didn't get a whole lot of – we didn't make a lot of shots today like we normally do with our perimeter players. Um, I thought that was part of our Achilles heel. Um, we just didn't make enough shots when people were crowding Colton. Uh, normally that's something that we do well. Uh, but we, did, we were able to get Torrey um, some dribble drives, uh, and he was able to finish at the rim. Uh, but we've, we've got to continue to work. and. Uh, put him in a better position when people double and triple team him uh, to try to make sure everything is not geared for one man in our offense. We look for him a lot because he's done a lot for us, but we've got to be have more balance in our attack offensively. Colton Isaac Niedra with the Sawmill. Uh, <coughs> Coach Keller was in here just a minute ago talking about you and Leon Gilmore have a history, you know, going back a number of years. Can you talk about some of the battles that you two have had over the years and how those outcomes have worked out? Uh, you know, I've known Leon for a long time now, you know, just through AAU, you know, basketball around the area. Um, been, you know, friends. Um, had a battle with him last year at, um, in junior college over there playing them. You know, he's a great player. He always comes out to play. Came out hot tonight, hit a couple jumpers quick. Uh, he got going, uh, played a hell of a game. He's a great player. If we can go just all the way in the back there with the mic. Ashley Elam, KBMT Beaumont. Coach, uh, when you look at this team, knowing that you only have two seniors, and, and it just seems like the program's been just <clears throat> building year after year after year. You got 19 wins this year. What do you think the outlook is going into next season? Well, it's been a process. Um, well, these guys here wanted to be a part of something fresh, and, and we're growing, and they were trusted in us to get a job done, and we trusted that they could do it. Um, I think the future looks bright. Um, we certainly uh, made some, some progress from where we started this year. Somebody had to tell me that uh, – the progress we've made, we've had some good wins. Uh, we had a couple losses that really hurt us. Um, we missed some free throws in a couple games that we probably had a chance to win. 
We had a shot made at half court. But these guys have been resilient. They've shown the ability to bounce back every time we had setbacks. And so I think this will help us grow uh, next year when we get back in the gym and continue to work. We definitely will be uh, uh, a much better team, I think. I've seen the, the transformation from start to even now with this team right now. And so hopefully we can continue to build and grow uh, just from my experiences this year. Let's go. If you don't mind, just bringing up Brandon here in the front. Thank you. <clears throat> Tori, question for you. Uh, just talk about you know, the fact of how even though you know, the game was uh, slipping away, how you guys continued fighting as if it was a top ball game. Just talk about you know, the hustle and intensity you guys were able to bring uh, despite the deficit in the second half. Um, we just wanted to keep fighting no matter what. Maybe we, um, we went on a run and, and brought the game closer. We just wanted to keep fighting at the end of the day. This is for both players. After uh, Stephen and Foster made that run, you guys got up within one and kind of pushed it. They kind of kept pushing that lead and really didn't let you get back in at times. So what did they do so well that you know didn't let you get back close? I think Coach hit on a little bit. Um, they just they have overwhelming ball pressure and they're getting past the lanes. They're trying to let you catch the ball and they did a hell of a job. I mean, he said we tried to get some backdoor actions, try to get some easy layups and whatnot, and it helps hide there. I mean, it was, it was tough to get offense going. You know, they had pretty much everything covered up. I mean, we just can't be bothered by the pressure. We got to attack north and south, and tonight we went east and west. Any final questions before we let these guys go? Let's go in the back here. I see Morrell, Port Arthur News. Uh, Coach Price, what would you say was the key ingredient in uh, kind of the resurgence of Lamar basketball this season? I think part of it, the kind of guys that we've been able to recruit, uh, high character guys. Uh, these guys have been very committed um, all year long. Um, not have one discipline problem off the court. Um, they've done everything that I've asked of them. Uh, I think when we went through that spurt, we didn't make free throws. We had curfew, I think, one night at 10 o'clock. And he called me at home and said, Coach, is it okay? And I'll be responsible if we go back to the gym to, to correct this problem. Uh, we will we'll be in the room by 11. Uh, that's the mark of a good leader. And uh, these two guys, uh, they've shown that type of leadership. Um, just having good guys, guys that's um, very determined to get to the winner circle. Um, I just think the lack of having the experience of being in a playoff and in a tournament um, kind of caught up with us tonight because we played a good basketball team. Stephen F. Austin uh, is a fine team. Um, They've been through the wars, and they know what it takes. Uh, and this is a maturation progress for our team. Let's wrap it up with Brandon on the front here. 19 wins on the season. Is there any prospects of playing beyond tonight? I hope so. Um, I think these guys would like to have the opportunity to get some postseason play. Um, I think that um, there may be an uh, invitation or two, maybe. Uh, we just got to reach out and see what people that we we know would be willing to help us get there. But uh, we certainly would welcome the opportunity if that opportunity presented itself. Gentlemen, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.